Folks, Vita Vea has been amazing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers throughout this season, and I am going to even go as far as to say that when this season is done, this will be the best season Vita Vea has ever had for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in his career. That's also keeping in mind that Vita Vea made the Pro Bowl in 2021. I think that he has gotten even better after the Bucs gave him the bag, and by the end of the season, it will be far and above Vita Vea's best season he has ever had with the Bucs, and I want to talk about why. So everybody knows that Vita Vea got the bag. He is one of the highest paid defensive tackles in the league today. We all know this, and the man is an absolute giant of a human being, six foot four, 340 something pounds. We all know that Vita Vea is a big, big dude that can clog up some holes and definitely give a lot of other players opportunities, both in run defense and in pass rushing as well. And everybody knows how good Vita Vea is, especially at run, uh, run defense. But I think one thing has been a little bit ignored throughout this season has been how good Vita Vea has been as a pass rusher. And I want to, I want to go into stats about both categories, both Vita Vea's run defense and Vita Vea's pass rushing abilities as well, and kind of talk about how good they've actually been and why this year is definitely worth paying attention to for the remainder of this season regarding Vita Vea. So right now as it stands, Vita Vea six and a half sacks on the year. It leads the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by a sack and a half over second place Devin White. If you also look at the overall NFL statistics for defensive tackle sacks, right now as it stands, Vita Vea ranks fifth on that list. The only players that are ahead of him are Quinnen Williams, Deniso Autry, Chris Jones, and Javon Hargrave, ahead of him at defensive tackle, I guess I should say. And all of four of these guys only have a half sack better than Vita Vea. So it's not just a matter of Vita Vea is putting up gigantic sack numbers for the Bucks defense. Just looking at it at an NFL perspective, he is fifth for defensive tackles in terms of total sack numbers, being only a sack behind. And he's 18th overall, by the way, for all defensive players in terms of sack numbers. He has more sacks than DeForest Buckner, Deron Payne, Dexter Lawrence, Aaron Donald, the names can just go on and on. Jonathan Allen, Grady Jarrett, a lot of really high tier names and Vita Vea has more sacks than them through 10 games. That's pretty spectacular to see. Now this may change depending on the Buccaneers bye week, of course, but still very impressive numbers for Vita Vea. Right now in terms of tackles for loss, Vita Vea is at six right now, which is second on the team behind Devin White, and Vita Vea is tied for first with quarterback hits with 10, again, with Devin White. So any way you slice it in terms of run defense for tackles for loss, quarterback hits, sacks, Vita Vea is at the top of the boards regarding all of the Buccaneers defenders, and they have some very, very good defenders on that list. Now, in terms of quarterback hits for defensive tackles, Vita Vea is ranked 10th, which is still pretty darn good considering it is a guy who has mainly been labeled as a run defense specialist with a little bit of pass rushing ability. Vita Vea is showcasing, hey, I got the bag and not only did I get my bag, I'm still improving at the age of 27 years old is Vita Vea. And I think that, that is an awesome thing to see. We are continuing to see Vea, you know, grow and develop and just add more to his overall game. Fun fact, through 10 games this year, this is the one, the most sacks that Vita Vea has had in his career so far out of five years. In his Pro Bowl season last year, he only had four. In terms of tackles for loss, guess what? It's the most he's had in his career up to this point. Last year in his Pro Bowl season, he only had five. Then in quarterback hits, he only is two away from the most he's had in his career. In that Pro Bowl season, he had 12. So any way you look at it, any way you slice it, maybe if you want to talk about pass deflections, Vita Vea does not have a single pass deflection yet in this year. He has had three in 2021, three in 2019. He does have one fumble recovery last year, and he does have one forced fumble this year, which is his first ever forced fumble. So I think those do cancel out a little bit, but any way you're looking at it, not only is Vita Vea 
leading in terms of all the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' important stats regarding pass rushing ability and run stopping ability. Not only is he a top five to top 10 player in terms of pass rushing ability for all the defensive tackles in the entirety of the NFL, but he is also putting up his career best stats for these categories, sacks, quarterback hits, tackles for loss, everything that you want to see in good defensive players. And he's only 10 games into the year versus 16 games in previous years. Again, I point back to that Pro Bowl season last year where he had four sacks, 12 quarterback hits, and five tackles for loss. Vita Bay has already gotten more in two out of those three categories this year in 10 games than he did last year in 16 games. So I think any way you slice it, any way you look at it, this is going to continue to be a monster year for Vita Bea. It has already been a fantastic year for Vita Bea. And I think he is going to end with some pretty darn good numbers. And he's already put himself in terms of payment at one of the top defensive tackles in the league. A lot of people already consider him one of the top defensive tackles in the league. But I think as this year wraps up, as this year continues, Vita Bea will keep on going and keep on solidifying himself as one of the top defensive players, not just for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but for the NFL as a whole. What do you guys think about Vita Vea, how he has been doing this year? Do you think I'm on to something regarding these stats and the overall ability that we've seen out of Vita Vea this year? Or do you think he's not there quite yet? Give me your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. And go Bucks.